Okay, and welcome back to part two of lesson 10 for uh, capacitive touch sensing. Uh, we will be looking now at the code section for it. So look at how we code this up using the CCSC compiler. So we talked about our board and how we made it and whatnots, and so went through uh, our design. So now let's take a look at the code. So here's our code. Basically what we're doing, we got, normally we got our uh, include statement or 16F 727 got our fuses and our delay for using one now here's the statement that you need this is the beginning of something new you use the use touchpad statement and what you do is that this is a little different it's not like the RS232 one uh, using multiple streams what this one does is basically you pick which pins so we had D0 D1 D2 and D3 and what you do is you assign them a character because um, later on we're going to see how you read this stuff in is by um, you get what character it is basically and that's what it, how it gets what pin has been pushed basically when you touch it so we've assigned uh, A, B, C, and D respectively to the zero to the four different buttons to pin D0, 1, 2, and 3 uh, we defined a couple of LEDs you know our pin 2 and our pin B2 and B1 for our LEDs and so now we're going to go ahead and jump into our uh, main function. We go ahead and, like I said, we declare character C just because this will be the variable that will read in uh, which which pin is pushed. Um, we use this enable interrupts global uh, so that it'll uh, you can and where the uh, the interrupts is, is is because this is actually some of the code was taken from another deal so we had enable interrupts in here even though we're probably not going to use we're not using any watchdog timers or anything like that where we need interrupts so technically you don't need this um, this was just remnants from uh, another snippet of code that I was working with prior to this one but anyway what uh, what we also are doing is we're initializing our LEDs low okay so then we have um, our infinite loop so it'll infinitely check those switches and then we have our else if ladder and what we're gonna do is basically you have uh, you use the touchpad hit it's kinda like the um, KB hit uh, function that you saw in the RS-232 uh, demo basically it just returns true or false if a switch has been pushed kinda like the KB hit if, if a character is present on the serial line it returns true if not it returns false same idea. Basically, if a button's been pressed, it returns true. If a button hasn't been pressed, then it returns false. So straightforward. Um, then here's where we actually read in. We do the touchpad get C, and basically what this function does is it pings that controller, the capacitive sense controller that's inside, for which button was pressed. And since we assigned up above in the use statement, since we assigned uh, characters to each pin this is where you d can differentiate between you know which pin was actually pressed is that that call will pull in either a b c or d and then basically then down here we have our if statements to check to see which one it is so we basically look to check to see if it's the first pin if switch one has been pressed then what we're going to do is we're just going to blink the led every you know ha half second we'll just blink the led for a half second then otherwise if uh it's B then we will then we will just blink the second LED on and off and if it's C we're just gonna blink both of them together on and off and then if it's D we're gonna basically alternate blinking back and forth and then uh, else if everything else we keep um, we keep them low and so that's basically it um, very very simple very straightforward make sure you remember your use command the use touchpad you can set make sure they're separated by a comma too that's a big one uh, separated by a comma but then just assign them all a letter value uh, make sure and you can use the touchpad hit function um, otherwise if you don't use the touchpad hit function it's okay it's just your when you do this call to get C for the touchpad uh, your program will halt it will halt until something's pushed so, you know, uh, depending on your application, you know, you may want that. You may want everything to wait till a uh, switch is pressed. In that case, you don't need the uh, touchpad hit. Um, if you would rather it just kind of check to see if a switch is pressed and then move on to perform other functions, 
Uh, same, like I said, same deal with the KB hit, uh, same idea there. This touchpad hit, uh, you'll use it to then check to see if anything's been pressed so you can move on in your code. Otherwise, it'll just sit, wait for one to get pressed, the minute it's pressed, roll that into whatever variable you got, and then move on. So, um, very straightforward, pretty slick deal. Like I said, uh, uh, keep, keep an eye out. I will be making a, uh, a video uh, the physical video, you know, where you'll actually get to see this in place and see it working and uh, me being able to touch it. And basically, um, all you have to do is just pour just copper pads, basically, and it will sense. And it'll actually sense through through paper, through plastic. Um, I've, I've even tried it with about four sheets of paper thick, and it still senses my finger. It's pretty, pretty slick, pretty impressive. Another thing, one thing that I do want to uh, say is that the... Um, if you have just a board where it's blank on the back, um, if you touch the back of the board, it'll sense your finger through the board as well. So I don't know, some people during certain applications, you might want to keep that in mind that when you uh, pour the pad on one side of the board, it still will sense your finger on the other side of the board or any type of you know, dielectric on the other side of the board, it'll sense it. So just keep that in mind. But anyway, like I said about uh, other videos, if you guys have any questions, please post, please comment, uh, send me messages, whichever, please subscribe. Uh, some more really cool stuff will be on the way. Uh, I'll keep people posted with uh, bulletins and whatnot for what we can expect in the future. Um, this was just something I kind of ran across, uh, this passive touch stuff, and I had there were some chips available, and so I just figured I'd share share this with all of you. So. Um, Again, please subscribe. Uh, any questions, I'd be more than happy to make additional videos if needed on some of the other things like board board design, board scribing, uh, how to use CAD software, you know, all that fun stuff. So until next time, uh, happy programming, happy construction, and keep making them. Thanks.